Hey, students and friends of Edit Tuition. Yeah, we are back to our Passing Sure Looks Easy series. All right, this question very, very familiar. So, come, have you seen this before? All right, all right, I call this wasted. So, in 2017, Glory needs 200 pieces of ribbon, each of length 110 cm, to tie up some presents. Ribbon is sold in rows of 25 meter each, all right? So every one row is 25 meter. Since everybody is in centimeter, is it down there got centimeter, this one got meter, you have to make a choice to work in centimeter or to work in meters. My advice, use the easier method, which is to work in centimeter, all right? It's easier to convert meter to centimeter. Anyway, what is the least number of rows of ribbon that Glory needs to buy? So question, what do you do? Ah, before doing this question, let me talk about another kind of question first, like this. All right, easy? Okay, how many squares of sides 10 cm can I cut from the above? Sure, easy, meters, don't trick me, change to centimeter. One meter is equal to 100 centimeter. All right, so the area of the entire piece is what? Area of the entire piece is 100 times 30. So it's equal to 3,000 cm square. Huh? Your square is how much? Oh, your square, one square is 10 cm per side. All right, means that one side is 10 cm, one side is 10 cm like that. 10 cm by 10 cm. So what's the area here? Oh, area is 10 times 10, 100 cm square. So the question is inside 3,000 cm square, how many 10, how many 100 cm square are there? Oh, easy lah. So answer is just 300 or oh, 3,000 divided by 100 is equal to 30. 30 what? 30 squares. Answer, easy, sure. Yeah, I know it's easy. Another way of doing it is what? You can do this. Cut them up physically. Huh, so troublesome ah. Yeah, 100 cm means what? If one square is 10 cm, all right, down here is 10 cm, 10 cm, 10 cm, 10 cm, and so on. Inside your 100 cm length, how many 10 cm are there? So there are 10 pieces, all right? Can you see? There are 10 pieces of this. Inside your 30 cm, right, how many 10 cm are there? Three, three pieces, all right? So there are three rows of 10 columns. So 3 times 10 will give you a, 3 times 10 will give you a 30 pieces or 30 uh, squares of 10 cm of side. Can you see? Can, right? So both give you the same answer. Like, okay, okay. But what if the question changed to something like that? How many squares of side 8 cm can I cut from the above? Now it's no longer 10 cm. It becomes 8 cm. Just do the same. La. Do the same what? Okay. Just change the what? 1 meter to 100 cm first. Then, as you say, let's take the what? 100 times what? Alright, 100 length times breadth, 30. Equal to 3,000 still. 3,000 cm square. Fine. Then you want to find one square, right? Ah, one square can be what? Let's say 8 by 8. Alright, 8 by 8. 8 cm by 8 cm. Oh, 8 times 8 will be 64. 64 cm square. So inside my 300, how many 64 are there? Just divide lah. I know. 3,000, 3, not 300, divide by 64. Keep saying 300 lah. Because of the movie lah, you know? Never mind, you don't know. So 3,000 divided by 64 will give you a... Oh, uh, your fraction. Lah. Never mind, 46. 46.875 squares. Oh, so some will say, okay, round up lah, round up. Uh, 47 squares lah. Or, or maybe 46 square, I don't know. 46 or 47 squares. Nah. That's your answer. Alright. Or maybe you think, eh, eh, if it's 47 squares, right? If it's 47 squares, and one square is 64 cm squared times 64. 3,008. Eh, but I only got 3,000. Oh no. So it's it exceeded already. So it cannot be 47. So answer is 46. Ah. Right. If there's a 46, right? 46 times one square is 64 equal to 2,944. Ah, this one is a 3,000 cm squared piece of paper. I'm using 2,944. So there's a, maybe a 56 cm squared that is what? Wasted. Can you see? So that is your way of doing. But is it really true? Alright, the other way is to do the what? Slowly you draw. 
All right, slowly you draw something like this. Ah, jerk. Okay, so inside your 100 cm, how many 8 cm are there? That's your question. All right, do it slowly. Inside your 100 cm, how many 8 cm are there? So 100 divided by 8 is what? 100 divided by 8 is equal to 12 and a half. 12. All right, there's 12 full what? There's 12 full squares. Okay, there's 12 full squares. Is it correct now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 full squares. And down here is called a what? Down here is called a wastage. Or this part is being wasted. Can you see now? Alright, so we have 12 complete or 12 full squares. And what's the remainder? Alright, if you've got 12 full square and one side is 8, 12 times 8 is equal to 96 centimeter. But the whole length is 100. Right? So 100 minus 96, you got an extra 4 cm that is being wasted. So this part is 4 cm. Is that okay? How about here? The breath wife. 30 centimeter. One is 8. So down here, one of these is 8. This is also 8. This is also 8. Okay, this one is not 8. Huh? So how many do you have? 30 cm divided by 8 will give you a 8, 16, 24. 3 full squares. Alright. And what's the remainder? And the remainder will be uh, 3 times 8 is 24. So 30 cm is the breadth. Minus 24 will give you a 6 cm that is wasted. So where's the 6 cm? This one is your 6 cm. Can you see now? So this part is 6 cm. Are you clear? What is happening? So now, how many squares of sides 8 cm can I cut from the above? What's your answer? Your answer will be to take what? 3 full squares times 12 full square. How come? Because there's 3 rows of 12 columns. Alright, there's 3 rows of 12 columns. Alright, so it will be 3 times 12. Answer is 36 pieces. Okay? Hey, sure. Previously, you say it's 46. Leh. Now, you say it's 36. Leh. So, who is the right answer? Answer is 36 pieces. Alright? Alright? Answer is 36 pieces. How come? Because this piece of paper, right, is fixed. You cannot anyhow, down here, take a little bit, leh, and try to combine with this one to form what? To form another complete square. Or you cut down here, are you super glue, is it? Cut down here and you cross tape, is it? Try to form out a complete square. You cannot do that. Once it's cut, right, this is called the completed square. Already. You cannot take this portion a little bit, join with this one, and maybe join with this one to form a complete square. Cannot. Alright. So, what are you doing here? What you're doing here, right, you're taking that exactly. You're calculating the entire area of the piece of paper, 100 times 30, divided by one of these 64. Alright, you don't care whether is there any wasted on the top or on the right-hand side or not. You don't care. You're saying that everything just uh, merged together, cross tape are super glued together. It's okay. That is not okay. No, it's not okay. That's the reason why this type of question, you have to attempt in such a way. How? Alright, don't have to physically draw out, but if you know the length, 100 just divided by the 8, which is 12. 12 with a remainder. Remainder what? If you want, you can find out. Will be good for you. Because it better understand the question. So the other one, 30 cm is your width or your breadth. You divide by 8 because the square is 8 cm by 8 cm. You get a 3 full square, remainder what? Remainder 6 cm. Okay? Then what you do? You take the full square times the full square. 3 rows of 12 column, 36 pieces of complete squares you have. Can you see that? Okay? And those red color portion, they are wasted. Let it be. You cannot take and super glue, cross tape. No, not fair. Alright? And what's next? Another kind of question, cutting cubes. That one is cutting squares. Cubes, same story one. Alright, some of you are happily just take 50 times 88 times 142. Alright, you take the volume of the entire cuboid. Then you divide by the volume of the cube to find the what? To find how many cubes to be uh, extracted from the cuboid. Is that true? Alright, that is not the way to do it. Alright, you cannot say that I'm going to take this and I'm going to melt it. Alright, uh, if the question say take this and melt it to become liquid, uh, to form into a lot of this one, then you can do it. But this one, did they say they want to melt it? No. They just say how many cubes of side 5 cm can I cut from the above? Can I cut, remove from the above? Not to melt this thing and to pour into a mold of 5 cm by 5 cm and 5 cm. 
So what you do? All right? Don't go and find the volume of this whole thing. Divide by the volume of the cube. Don't do that. So what must you do? Slowly. You take your 142, which is your what? Which is your length. All right? 142 divided by 5 first. Inside your 142, how many 5 cm are there? 142 divided by 5 is equal to 28.4. Alright? 28 means 28 full what? 28 full cubes. Okay, then you have to find the remainder. Alright, it's a good practice. 28 full cubes up. Uh, 1 cube is 5 cm. Uh, so 28 times 5 will give you a 140. But down here got 142, which means that there's a remainder of 2 cm. And what is the 2 cm? Wasted. Very good. Down here, 88 cm. 88 cm, how many 5 cm are there? So 88 divided by 5 cm, that will give you, you press your calculator again, 88 divided by 5 will give you a 17.6. So you take the 17, 17 is full cubes. Alright, 17 is full cubes. But, but, but is there a remainder? Yes. And the remainder is not 0.6, it's not a 6. Some of you just have to write 6, 6 cm. That's not true. So 17 full cubes, are 1 cube is 5 cm. 17 times 5 will give you a 85. 85, you can put up to 85 cm here. This is 88 cm. So there is a remainder of 3 cm here. Can you do anything to the 3 cm? No. Why? Wasted. Very good. 50 cm, the height, what do you do? 50 cm, how many 5 cm are there? Oh, this one looks very good. So 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. 10 what? 10 full cubes. Any remainder? No remainder. Happy? Very happy. So this portion has been fully, the height has been fully utilized. It has been fully cut up nicely. But for the part that's wasted, the 3cm and 2cm, it's okay. It's supposed to be wasted. Okay? So in this case, what you do? Simply just take your 10 times, right? Take all the full cubes and you multiply. 10 times 17 times 28. Alright? Your length can put up to 28 cubes. Your width can put up to 17 cubes. So you got 28 rows of 17. Alright? But you got a height of what? You got a height of 10 cubes. You can build upwards 10 cubes. So you got 10 levels up. So you must times 10. Can? Okay? So just simply take the full cubes and you try to multiply them. 10 times 17 times 28. Total you can have 4,768 cubes. And that's the way to do it. Can you see that? Why is this important? Alright, now we talk about cutting ribbons. Back to this question. So, what did they say? Ribbon is so in a row of 25 meter. From here to here is 25 meter. Alright, so there is a fixed amount down here. There's a fixed row. 25 meter is equal to what? Times 100, 2,500 cm. Alright, it's from here to here is fixed. You cannot say take another row and connect with another row and connect with another row. No cost tape, ma. cannot. You only got scissors. You only can cut. Alright, so down here, this entire length is 2,500 centimeter. From this 25 meter or 2,500 cm of what? Ribbon is one row. How many 110 can you remove? How many 110 can you cut? That is supposed to be your question. Alright, but many of you see this, ah, oh, glory needs 200 pieces, and one piece is 110. Wow, immediately you jump in already. You say, 200 times 110 equal to, okay, 200 times 110 is equal to 22,000, 22,000 centimeter. This is what she needs, alright, she needs 22,000 centimeter of ribbon. Okay, one row is 2,500. One row is 2,500 cm cm. Wow, luckily I got compare. So, uh, 22,000 is what I need. Inside my 22,000, how many 2,500 are there? Cm and cm, very fair. Let me divide. Divide by 2,500. Alright. Oh, I need 8.8 lor. 8.8 rows. Ah, if it's 8.8 rows, right? 8 rows not enough, what? So, I need 9 rows. 9 rows of ribbons. Alright. If you do that, what happened? Wrong. Wrong. Why? Because again, you're assuming that what? You're assuming that all these ribbons, right? They are connected with another row of ribbon, which is connected with another row of ribbon, and so on. Alright? You're having a super glue or you cosh tape it. You're trying to make it into one super long piece and you're slowly cutting it. That's not true. How come? Because one row of ribbon is 25 meter. That is fixed. You cannot do anything about it. Alright? This part is fixed. 
So your question is, how many 110 cm can you extract from your fixed one row of ribbon, which is 2,500 cm? So down here is actually taking 2,500 cm, divide by how many 110 you can extract. So 2,500 divided by 110 will give you a what? 22. 22 what? Full, 22 full ribbons. Alright, and what's the remainder? It's good to find the remainder. What's the remainder? Okay, so if I have 22 full ribbons, uh, each of them is 110 cm, I'll get 2420 cm. I need to use 2420 cm to give me my 22 full ribbons of each is 110 cm. Okay? The entire length of one row of ribbon that is fixed is 2005. 2005 and 2420, remainder of 80 cm. And your 80 cm belongs to here. Lor. Can you see not? It's not full. So all these spaces, right, is calculated very accurately. Eh? It's just that the last part down here. There's a remainder of what? There's a remainder of 80 cm. What do you do with it? You don't collect all the 80 cm ah, and you combine it into what? Into new ribbons. No. As I say, no cosh tape, no super glue. So what happened to this 80 cm? Thank you. Wasted. Very good. You are learning. So the thing is 22 full ribbons from one row, right? You need how many ribbons? Glory needs 200, right? So you need, not you, Glory, my wife, needs 200 ribbons, all right? So 200 divided by the 22 will give you what? Press your calculator, 200 presents to wrap, divide by 22, that will give you nine. Nine, ah? I need nine complete rows, is it? Nine rows, nine rows will give me. All right, 200 ribbons divided by 22. One row can have 22. Uh. It's nine rows, point something. All right, there's some remainders behind. All right, so what do you do? Remainder what? Okay, so nine rows, uh, nine rows, one row got 22. Nine times 22 is what? 198 only. Like. Huh? Down here only give me 198 ribbons only. If it's nine rows, uh, it gives me 198 ribbons only. But I want what? I want 200 ribbons, right? So I need a remainder two ribbons. All right, I'm short of two ribbons. So what you do? Ah, what you're going to do is you need another what? You need another row in order to make it to 200 full ribbons. All right, so I need another. This one, I need two more ribbons. Ah. Can you see? So down here, what happens is uh, nine rows, you need to plus another one row in order to give you your ten row. It's always good to have extra than to have less. Okay? So your these nine rows only give you 198 ribbons. You need a uh, two more ribbons. And what you're going to do with it? You're going to buy another row in order to have ten rows so that you can have your 200 ribbons. Is this clear? Alright, so down here, your answer is not what? It's not 8 rows, it's not 9 rows, it's actually 10 rows. So as I say down here, if you got 9 rows, alright, 9 times 22, you only got 198. You're still short, ah? so you need another 10 row in order to get to your 200 ribbons. Okay, so your final answer down here should be written as 10 rows. Okay, can you understand? Alright, so this is our question, right? You have to slowly cut... And you must remember, you cannot cosh tape, you cannot super glue it. It's not fair. Alright, look at what is fixed first. The row of ribbon is fixed, you have to play along with that first. The sheet of paper is fixed, you have to play with that. The cue board is fixed, you have to play along with that. You cannot just say melt it down or try to uh, rejoin everything up into one long strand of ribbon and slowly cut. Cannot. No such things. Okay? So, slowly. This is our question, very interesting. Yep. Remember, wasted. Alright, so for this again, if you have any question that you want to write in, you can write in to me and from there I will try to screen out that's more important, more students asking the similar kind of question and I will try to video it under the Passing Sure Looks Easy series. I will catch you in the next question.